I assume what people are going to be pointing to is the fact that obviously ninja, that's like Japanese culture, and with the pink hair, um, this gives big, um, this gives big yai sakura um, vibes, right? So for those who don't know, Sakura, that's the the original character from Hong Kong Impact Search. He used to be a flame chaser. And we got the SP in Genshin Impact, which is AI Miko. And here, this might be Sakura's SP in HSR. Subscribe, please! Oh my god. I was literally minutes away. <laughs> going to bed and I just check my Twitter and we actually have a drip marketing we have some drip marketing for HSR it is the first five star is being revealed for the patch after the next one which is gonna be is it 2.5 I don't even know where we are I think we're currently at 2.4 so 2.5 is gonna be Feishao. So this is for 2.6, I do believe. So we have a new character, and uh, I wanna I wanna read the text here before we uh, check the design itself. So first of all, we have <clears throat> extraterrestrial satellite communication Rapa. It's kind of funny because I feel like I've heard the name Rapa for a long time at this point, and I was like, ah, that sounds lame. Uh, that sounds lame. I don't care. Eh, I don't care. So hopefully, hopefully something here is going to grab my attention. With stars above, everywhere doth evil lurks. Under the witness of the solemn skyscraper, recite your final words. Three gunshots. The winner has been decided. My cosmic ninjutsu methods are ever-changing. Better luck next time in your next life. Cosmic... So we have a, 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 a space ninja. A peculiar girl who appears in Pinacoli like a flashbang at the darkest hours of night, identifying herself as a ninja and attributing everything in the world to ninjutsu, upholding the recitation of ninja mantra, creating dazzling ninja seals, and mastering ninja techniques. The way of the ninja involves rap, graffiti, and comics. Through rigorous self-discipline, she roams the stars, upholding justice and righteousness. As a member of the Galaxy Rangers, she relentlessly pursues the villain known as Evil Ninja Ozaru, Chasing them to the very edge of the cosmos. We have our first. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I say first, but I, I mean, our first Galaxy Ranger since Boot Hill. Very interesting. So it seems that the English voice actor is gonna be Kendall Bird, and now we get to look at the character, and there is a lot to say here. Ah, uh, so. Obviously, very, very, very colorful, um, cosmic ninja, graffiti, rap, uh, so rap, rapa, I assume that is not her real name. Also, the, the graffiti, this gives me a lot of um, Natlan vibes from what we've seen recently, uh, right? Uh, that's coming out in like a day, actually, uh, which is kind of crazy, but um, yeah, and uh, what people... I assume what people are going to be pointing to is the fact that obviously ninja, that's like Japanese culture, and with the pink hair, um, this gives big, um, this gives big yai sakura um, vibes, right? So for those who don't know, Sakura, that's the the original character from Hong Kong Impact Search. He used to be a flame chaser, and we got the SP in Genshin Impact, which is AI Miko. And here, this might be Sakura's SP in HSR. Uh, obviously, we don't have full confirmation. Um, in uh, in the previous games, there are linked to foxes, and there's not really anything here, in my opinion, that cries fox. Um, also, um, she's a five star confirmed, and she's also imaginary erudition. So that's another interesting thing because generally speaking, Sakura tends to be um, electro-based. So that's another thing that could say that maybe she's not. 
but I mean the um, looking at her like I definitely understand why people would think uh, it might be her let's see what people are saying here uh, my girlfriend who are you goodbye Lingsha then Kazumi Kazumi This is from Honkai... Who's Kazumi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Yei Miko. Um, Higokumaru. Yeah, I'm not super sure. Let me see. Uh, Honkai back third, Kazumi. Yeah, it's just this suit of uh, Kazumi Ai. Uh, right. And so that's kind of the thing, right? We're missing the ears, but we do have the, the pink hair. But apart from that, not really, right? Um, so what I'm wondering, uh, because even here she never used to have, she didn't have like green eyes, but like obviously Yaimiko, she has purple eyes. So here, is that really an SP? I'm not super, super sure, but I mean, maybe that would be really cool. Uh, I guess maybe we'll find out. Uh, what's super interesting is that, um, uh, I do wonder if uh, we are gonna learn like potentially a real name. Maybe a real name is Rappa. Maybe she's uh, like when I look at her outfit, uh, she kind of gives me vibes from like um, Punk Lord. She she definitely gives me Bronya vibes, right? So um, that's my thoughts here. Um, when it comes to erudition, uh, I didn't even talk about her weapon. Holy crap, my bad. So her weapon is that giant shuriken here thing, like it's a triple bladed throwing weapon. Um, and she's an erudition character, so what that means is like we are getting big AoE attacks. Um, so I could definitely see her like throwing it and her weapon bouncing between enemies, kind of what Sempo does, but better, hopefully. Um, obviously imaginary. Do we have any erudition imaginary character at the moment? Um, I'm not super sure. Erudition, imaginary, HSR. Do we? I don't think we have. Uh, I think this might be our first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about it recently. We also don't have Erudition uh, Wind character, um, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, so she's kind of filling that uh, that role there. And um, so obviously Erudition, they have the imprisonment kind of thingy with the break effect. Um, so maybe they're going to try to push that aspect. I could see her essentially being a kind of better version of, um, uh, well, Sempo, obviously. But Sempo is, uh, it has a little bit of a wee bit, has that dot kind of stuff. I could actually see her being a better version of, what's his name? Welt. Because Welt is not erudition, yes, but he has that AoE that bounces, right? He he has some slow uh, in his kit, but also a lot of uh, his support abilities come from the fact that he can imprison enemies, right? So if she has a lot of AoE and she can like bounce between enemies, um, I feel like she might be able to break enemies kind of fast because when it bounces, if there's only like if there's less target, it means that you have more chance to hit the same targets. So I could see her being able to break enemies pretty fast, put them in a state where they're imprisoned, and then you just unleash a lot of damage, right? Uh, so that could be very cool. If she works with break, um, that could work pretty well with uh, a teammate like Himiko, for example, who benefits from those. So I'm really looking forward to that. We've had a lot of break character recently, so I could see her going that direction as well. Is she going to have some super break? I'm not sure. That could be a thing. Um, obviously, in addition, we have a lot of follow-up attacks. At the moment, I don't think we have a lot of follow-up attack that works with break, actually. We have... Well, I mean, we don't have any erudition character that works with break, to be more specific. Imeko's follow-up attack functions through breaks, right? Because she gets one charge every time an enemy is broken, unless it's an elite, then she gets three charges, and when she has three charges, she unleashes her uh, follow-up attack. But apart from her, we don't really have that. We do have Shui that does scale some amount with break, um, and she can do some follow-up attack, but they're not dedicated to that kind of thing. So I could maybe see her having this kind of um, thematic to her, especially since she's a Pinacone character. So to me, this tells me multiple things. First, we're going back to Pinacone, uh, at least for this character. 
And obviously, Pinakoni is the land of super break. The land of super break, super break, of break effects. So I can definitely see her having those kind of abilities. I think she could be very, very interesting. I'm a little bit worried because generally speaking, Eredition characters are not really the best outside of pure fiction. And I would really, really love it if she could be the exception to the rule. Um, and I think if they go with super break, with some bouncing effects, that would maybe take her away from the niche of being only good for pure fiction because then if there's less enemies the break is actually stronger uh, when there's um, less targets to bounce to i'm sorry every time i record something my cat uh, wants attention uh, it wasn't crying for four hours but now i'm talking is crying so yeah anyway that's kind of my thought i think she looks amazing i really want to know if she's actually sakura and uh or yay miko whatever and I do find it super interesting. The ninja rap thing kind of gives me... I, I know it's kind of random. But it's just like ninja and rap. That To me, that's ninja and samurai. And that's samurai shampoo. And I'm like going places. And my ADHD can't handle it. And there's too much colors. And I'm losing my mind. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I absolutely love it. Here on the back, you can see she's slashing through people. And that looks pretty good. Um, very, very excited. Very, very excited. Anyway, it's going to be it for me today. I've been rambling for far too long. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you intend to save for her. I I need, I want Lingsha. I want Fake Shao. And now I want Rapa. Life is terrible. I'm going to cry and die in a corner. Anyway, cheers. See you next time.